It's half past five in the morning. So there's a reason why I got up early today. Got to be out of the house at half past ten. And I need to pack all these things. If you saw my last two videos, you'll know what these are all about. I need to get them packed up. Now, I can't get envelopes till 9 o'clock till the post office opens. But what I planned on doing is I've got some of these little plastic, you know, them little bags which seal at the top. I'm going to put the majority of things in them. But I don't know where they are. Because Mazzy moved them the other day. These are what I mean. Mazzy moved them out of the way yesterday um, so the wind wouldn't make them go and I can't find them and I don't know if I should wake her up or not it's a bit early but I could be cracking on here come on Mazzy wake up so it's just after half past six lazy bum's finally risen and she says she put them under here why didn't I look under there why didn't I look under there okay I can get on with this now so just making Dan a sandwich, he's going to have boiled eggies and bacon, bacon batty. He can't make his mind up, so I'm going to do both for him. There we go, that's Dan's lunch today. Bacon roll and egg mayo, egg, well it's not mayo, it's that salad cream. Yum yum. And as you can see, I'm having some crumpets today for my lunch. So how's your lunch, sweet? You managed it all? Well done you! Very nice. Bacon's a bit well done. Yeah, yeah. But it's really nice bacon. <laughs> Egg, a little bit soppy, but it'll do. <laughs> um, don't know, I could have done with some crumpets or something like that. So they're all bagged, ready to go. Pretty much as well as I can do them anyway. Anyone who does get these, by the way, I haven't wrote down what each item is. I just haven't got time. So if there's anything you really want to know about, you'll have to email me. But remember to put a picture in of the item, and I'll tell you everything I can about it. There you go. Half past eight. Doing well. That was Mazzy's idea, walking off into the distance. Not a bad idea really, but I'm the one who has to come back and grab the camera. It is actually like it, isn't it? It's like what? <laughs> it's the Flintstones house. It's my sofa. Welcome into my living room. Yeah, this is pretty special. Someone <laughs> has actually gone to the trouble of making some seats here at the top of the beach. Yeah. One, two, two and a half. Three, four, I'm guessing this is a table. That's really cool. I bet it's really comfy sitting there. It was. On a sunny day looking out at the sea. Which you can't see at the moment because it's right out there. Oh my god, it's like guy. Whoa. <laughs> that is, can't explain that to you guys, but that is like an ice rink. If you can see on top of that, it's like a wax. Yeah, it's really hard. What That's weird. Yeah. Can anyone tell us what kind of fun guy that is? It's ugly. <laughs> oh look, the sculpture. Oh yeah. That is an ash, I can tell. It's got an ashy kind of leaf to it. And that's because there's an ash tree in the distance there. And is it because it says ash? 
<laughs> I know it says Ash, but they didn't know that on camera. You just ruined that. I was trying to look intelligent. Maz is sulking because I'm making her walk up some steps. Yeah, well, we're, at, we're at Dane's Dyke. You can walk straight down to the beach down this road and straight back up, but you're just on a normal road. What's the point? So we've gone, the, we're doing the circular. You go around the top there, down some steep steps there, and then up some steep steps here, and it takes you back out of the car park. I just don't know how long, how steep these steps are. <laughs> Posted all that junk. Junk! All my metal detecting finds, all posted, all gone. And now, shopping. Honestly, it's just work after work after work. Shopping. It's not work, we need some stuff. Come on. Thing about shopping is, if you think about it, you probably spend 1% of your life shopping. <laughs> Don't you wish you could just do it all in one go? You can't do this. This stuff. <laughs> I'll do this one. Yeah, that's what I'd have done. I'd love to just get it all out of the way in one go. Just spend like a few weeks, a few months shopping, get all your eating done and then you can concentrate on the rest of your life without having to worry about eating and food and shopping. It does my head in. Girl stuff. I don't even know why I bother coming because all I do is push trolley. I don't get to pick anything. I, I just push the trolley, pay for it and carry it. Salad section. Honestly, if salad had sugar in it, would anyone eat it? No. It's disgusting. And this is what I hate about coming shopping with women. You don't put the salad things at the back. You put the heavy things there, the salad things in the front. Now look. It's not rocket science. What do you think about this bread? 80 pence. I think they look alright. Yeah, get them. Yeah. I've picked something else. Purry, purry baby potatoes. I don't know what purry, purry is, but they look really nice. But look what I've got, guys. Look what I've got. Two curries. Chicken jalfrezi and a chicken and mushroom. Not a curry, a Chinese. And onion barges and vegetable samosas. Guess how much? Guess how much? 20 quid. Seven. Oh. Seven pound. So the shopping's done. That's not even the worst part of it. Neither is even paying for it. That's not the worst. The worst bit's still to come. Starting here. Carrying all this into the house. That's not cool. You'll notice that the women don't help you at this stage. They just go straight to the house, go to the toilet and leave you to do everything. Oh, that's it. You've got time to film, haven't you? Oh, bless you. Well done. So you thought that was the worst bit of shopping. Now, all men know exactly where I'm coming from with this one. This is the worst bit of shopping. When, when the woman takes your cold beer out of the fridge just so she can put salad in it. What's more important, a piece of lettuce or some beer? I think it's disgusting, honestly. We should start like a men's shopping union. But on the plus side, the only good thing about going shopping is the woman will put the shopping away and you can just grab a beer or a cider on this occasion and just go sit down. Because you've done all the hard work, you see. You carried it in, you had to drive, you paid for it, you've brought it in, you've done everything, your beer's getting warm. So, because she's taken it out of the fridge, you've got to drink it straight away and leave her to it. Oh. Cheers. I deserve this. I've had a long day. I suppose that's another plus about shopping as well. You get stuff. You know when you're hungry, stuff appears on your knee. Not wrong with that. Oh, is that green? Yeah, we'll take that out. And for anybody who buys peri peri potatoes, right, 
Say, don't bother, save yourself the hassle. Just get some normal potatoes and on the packaging, write on it in felt tip, puri puri. And you've got puri puri potatoes and you've probably saved 40 pence because they just taste like potatoes. There's nothing puri puri about that. I don't know what puri puri is, but unless puri means potato flavour, then it's a load of rubbish. They are literally just normal potatoes, but 40 pence more expensive. There's nothing puri about that. What's puri? Do we know what puri is yet? No. Don't even know what it is. I think it's a word that supermarket's made up just to put on the packaging to make it sound posh. We won't be buying them again. And another thing I've noticed, and this isn't so much a shopping thing, this is a girlfriend thing. The longer you're in a relationship with someone, yeah, in the early days she makes you beautiful, wonderful meals and she eats like a lettuce leaf, right? Because she's poorly and she can only eat certain things. But once you get to know each other better, you find you, she'll serve you something which she can't eat and then she'll come out with something which is better. She's got what's look like southern fried chicken. Southern fried chicken. I didn't get any of that. And proper normal potatoes. I'm stuck with peri peri and mince. I wasn't even offered chicken. You know, when she says when I said I'm quite hungry, um she didn't ask me what I wanted to eat, she says, I know I'm mecking you. Yeah, you made me the meat you didn't want, and you had, like, southern fried chicken. I should have done this ages ago. Because when I was a kid, back in the late 70s, early 80s, you had the same meal every day. So, uh, I'm writing down what I want. And then I'll give it to Mazzy, and she, she, she knows what I want then. And then there's no arguing, is there? It's the best way. It'll work for us both. We'll both be happy with that. Here, yeah, Mazzy. What's that? It's just to help you out. You know when you make your meals and stuff? I know yeah. you go to a lot of trouble. I thought I'd help you out. Are you serious? What? Donut kebab, curry, pizza and chips, donut kebab. Um. Look. What are you doing?